details in the murder of a Cobb County father more than three weeks after his death. Police now say his longtime girlfriend is the one or exactly one of the people responsible for his murder. CBS 46's Megan Packers live in Mableton where that murder happened. And Megan, you spoke with the victim's brother about these new developments. Yeah, and Karen, they come as quite a surprise. You know, this family has already been, been mourning the death of their brother and their son after he was gunned down in front of his house a few weeks ago. Now they learn the mother of his two children is charged in the crime along with two teenagers. It was a bombshell. Weeks after their loved one's murder, a family is grappling with the news of who is now charged in the crime. Breaks my heart because I think of her as my little sister even right now. Yanaris Gill, known as Yaya, is one of three people charged in the murder of her longtime boyfriend, 24-year-old George Vela. They have two children together. Christopher Gutierrez and Zachary Franks, both 19, are also charged with aggravated assault, intent to murder, and felony murder. But I have my little right-hand man, little George. Vela's brother Robert Smith is missing his brother and processing the news of the arrests. Vela was shot shortly after midnight on July 22nd out in front of his Mableton house. Smith says earlier that night, Vela, Gill and their children came home from the movies to find their house had been robbed of clothing and shoes Vela planned to sell online. He says his brother was shot when he confronted a car parked out front. According to arrest warrants, Gill conspired with her co-defendants to have her boyfriend killed and notified them of his location throughout the day and night. Warrants say Gutierrez shot Vela multiple times with a 45 caliber handgun. So it's speculation that it was to scare him and have leverage to leave the house with the children. And it turned into something different because Yaya didn't want to handle it as a mature person and have that conversation with my brother that she didn't want to be with him anymore. She's the mother of these children that we have in the house, and she's the reason why they don't have their father and I don't have my brother. So now you have two children ages one and six without their mother and their father. I've learned they are staying with relatives. Meantime, the three suspects all held right now without bond. Reporting live in Mableton, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan, thank you.